Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. My Therapy Tuesday topic of the day is how can you make a healthy life change? So sometimes we're given a life situation that tells us we need to change something. It could be feeling down, feeling anxious, depressed, or it could be a order given by a doctor for your health. Maybe it's that you need to lose some weight or maybe it's that you need to bring down your cholesterol. Whatever it is, it really comes down to the day-to-day -day activities and the day-to-day -day lifestyle and habits that really dictate making this change. What's really hard for us humans is that initial push, right? Because once you kind of get into doing a certain thing or starting a new challenge, once you're in it, it's all good. It's really the beginning phase that's really, really hard. So how do you start? First, I have select a goal. And this goal is not really your ultimate goal. It's a small goal because I always say when you start slow, you gain confidence and then you can go bigger. So let's say your ultimate goal is to lose like, let's say 30 pounds. Select a small goal, and your small goal, as an example, can be for seven days to put away sugar and carbs, let's say. So that's a small goal. And then the second thing on my list is to now, what's your dream goal, right? The second one is your ultimate goal, which is, let's say, to become a supermodel, because we're talking about weight, I'm saying this. So that's like the dream, like the biggest goal you can have. And then the smallest goal is to be good this one week. What you want to do is you want to make sure that your goals are supporting your dreams. Does that make sense? So your little goals are supporting the big long-term dream. Now that you have your goal selected and you have your dream, now you gotta make sure you know what change you are willing to make first, okay? And make sure that this change that you are choosing in your everyday lifestyle is not one that is getting compromised by another big change. So let's say our dream is to become a supermodel and our small goal is to lose weight, make sure that you're not changing something else that's really big also. That could be maybe moving from one house to another, or that could be maybe changing your career path or changing your education. You wanna make sure that you're taking one big dream and one big change at a time. Once you have established enough consistency with that one change, then you can bring forth another one. So the goal here is not to put too much on yourself because when you put too much on yourself, they might clash and you might not do any of them and then your confidence goes from here to here and you think, oh, I can't do any of it. So start slow, start with one, make sure you know your dream and then go from there. Next on my list is how to make sure that you are following through. Have a supporter. So your supporter can be, let's say if we're talking about the cholesterol, it could be your physician. So have check marks for yourself. Every time you check in with your physician, you are telling your physician, oh, I was good, I did this, this, and this, okay? Or you can have maybe your trainer if you're working out. If it's for the food, you can have a food buddy that you could share, okay, like what did you eat, what did I eat? If it's for work, you could have the support of a fellow coworker. And if it's something that can relate to your spouse, or a friend, you could choose your spouse or your friend. So really having someone to keep you motivated and someone you're checking in with. And make sure you check in with them at least once a week because we want to start out again slow, short term, and then go to long term. Next on my list is to know the obstacles that will be on your path. So to give you an example, let's say you're trying to lose the weight and your fridge is filled with ice cream. Remove the ice creams so that that one night when you're feeling weak and you wanna go have it, it's not even there. So that's an obstacle that you're taking away. Let me give you one more example. Let's say you're working on a project and you know that when you get tired, you like to watch TV. Make sure the place that you choose for your workplace doesn't have a TV in it so that when you wanna go watch TV, you don't have that option. So remove the obstacles before you start this whole system and this whole change. Remove the obstacles before you go into it so that it's easier for you. And last on my list is to give yourself a reward short term and long term. So let's say our goal is to be good this week with our food intake. 
At the end of the week, you're going to reward yourself maybe with a glass of wine, maybe with some cheese and crackers. So something that will hold you over so that you can continue pushing through. I hope these steps help. These are some of the steps that I personally use for myself when I'm trying to make a life change. And believe me, I am one that's constantly trying to make life changes. I mean, every three months I will think of a new one. Maybe it's fitness oriented or right now it's organization oriented personally for me. I wanna make sure that I'm super organized in my house and it's something that I'm really working at because it's new for me and it's something that I constantly have to keep up with. So these things are what is helping me with that. And I'm sure they will help you too if you try. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. I'll see you guys next Tuesday.